so in your case you are already in a habit of reading good thing another thing you said you are teaching also so you read you learn you hone your skill and then you deliver i have been working on my language it's been i think one and a half years that i have been uh, like i would say i have been uh, consciously working on i sometimes i'm not sure whether it's uh, it's for everyone or it's for me only so i i sometimes struggle for words to exactly put for instance if i'm in a situation and if i become capable enough to convey my message and if i could create a sort of grip over the people on the other side i think that would be a sort of accomplishment for me so welcome jazz uh, zubair welcome to my channel as we both are on sailing in the same boat we both yeah. are working on communication skills so it is simply you can say fetching a moment or grabbing a moment just to talk to each other so that we both may excel we both may learn from each other right yeah so that exactly day, yeah would you like to tell me something about you what do you do otherwise yeah first of all thank you so much for having me and yeah my name is zev i am from rajasthan currently i am learning english and teaching english as well so it's like uh, i have been teaching and learning english so apart from that my hobbies and my uh, interests are i like reading books and watching cricket these days i am watching ipl so these are my hobbies and interests apart from that sometimes i also learn uh, many things and read about philosophy and life because these are the things which really intrigues me philosophy did you say what did you say philosophy yeah philosophy yes uh so that way that in every respect your situation is a win win situation the reason being the first important thing when somebody is working on any language it's always advised and it's workable also that uh, a person should be a good reader this is a good quality because when you read automatically your vocabulary gets strengthened so in your case you are already in a habit of reading good thing another thing you said you are teaching also so you read you learn you hone your skill and then you deliver right yeah it's a win win approach as i said earlier <laughs> so there is a like uh, Mm, yeah there is a good opportunity for me to learn and deliver the same thing and i am also honing my skill and my ability to speak better and i am in a process to becoming a better speaker of english language so i'm trying my best and doing whatever possible there so yeah that's about it and uh, since how long you have been uh, learning or working on your uh, this communication yeah i have been working on my language it's been i think one and a half years that i have been uh, like i would say i have been uh, consciously working on my language skills i started uh, like i started a very long time ago but it's been one and a half year that i am current like i am completely focused to improve my english so earlier it was not uh, like uh, i was not i was a bit reckless i was this uh, it was fun for me but uh, now before one and a half year ago i started learning english as uh, i wanted it to be my strength or my forte so for the last one and a half year now you have become consistent in pursuing yeah, your, uh, your aspirations yeah i was <laughs> struggling for the right words so in, yeah in you fact, have spoken in fact everybody struggles all the time wherever you reach your struggle never ends isn't it yeah it is but sometimes whenever we think a lot or whenever we try to find the right word for something to put that think 
in a, a in an appropriate way so i sometimes i'm not sure whether it's uh, it's for everyone or it's for me only so i i sometimes struggle for words to exactly put for instance if i'm in a situation where i want to uh, i want to precise my message so i try to find an appropriate word because i don't want to use any random word to describe any particular situation because uh, i've learned one thing that uh, it doesn't matter how many words you know if you are not able to use them appropriately and precisely so that is the real meaning of learning new words and that is the real i would say uh, purpose of learning new words so i used to be a guy who learned so many words but i wasn't able to see and distinguish between them whether to use them uh formally or informally where do i need to use them is it the right word to put here so i've been like i've been <laughs> i would say that i've been working consciously or i've been working to learn to use words appropriately that is my purpose now that is my motto now that i am working on which is why sometimes i struggle or hesitate for words because i don't want to use any random words to describe any particular situation so which is why i sometimes feel that you, you uh, feel that you can't do it on the fly sometimes you have the words in your mind inside your mind but you can't do it on the fly it happens with everybody i feel uh, yeah uh yeah it happens with everyone and uh, what i meant was like uh, i can use any words i don't struggle for words that is what i meant i want to use a word precisely and accurately and appropriately that is my main motto these days i don't want to use any random words for any random situation that's that uh, that I, is something that i am working on i've seen many students or many learners they learn thousands of words and they use them interchangeably but uh, not everyone not every word can be used interchangeably for instance uh like uh, you cannot use some words interchangeably so we need to understand the meaning deeply in order for us to be more accurate so that is something that i am working on i am not i don't want to go deeper <laughs> so that's so about that, it so that 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 way it's your personal choice maybe we can say uh, you want to see your communication at a different level of course everybody wants to reach from intermediate to advanced level but in your case i can guess it that yeah you want to work on some specific aspect of the language otherwise in the routine we used to use every possible kind of word wherever we can because first of all the important thing is for us the people like us who are on the journey of learning english i shouldn't say journey of learning english we all know language very well because we all have studied at least up to the school level but now the issue is we want to excel in communication in english this is the main issue our issue and uh, in communication what i feel the important thing initially is to get into the flow because flow is very important but like in your case uh, i could guess it that along with the flow simultaneously you are focusing on the uses of appropriate word in context to the situation so that is a wonderful absolutely. thing that is this is a absolutely. good thing absolutely well said so uh it is not necessary for every learner to focus on because when we are learning english so we just need to learn and use it but as we go ahead as we like uh, move ahead or move to the advanced level so then it becomes really mandatory for you to learn and to understand the words deeply so it is for someone who is moving or like uh, moving towards or heading towards the advanced level else it is not important to focus on so don't worry about that i was just uh, <laughs> it was in my mind so i just spoke that anyway. is, uh, 
uh, I may say it that way that yeah, I they do. You have you can say built up this idea inside my mind also that while talking to somebody, though things are already in my mind. Like uh, if I talk about myself only, but now whenever I will talk to somebody or whenever I will be practicing with anybody, definitely your idea will always be at the back of my mind and I would also try bit to, to be a bit conscious, bit aware of it and uh, definitely it is going to benefit me also because whenever I have the sessions with anybody, I always take it uh, like uh, it's a win-win situation for me. So it hardly matters whom to I like uh, I'm talking. I always, my session always ends up giving me something and it's obvious at the this like when uh, these days i'm talking to different people and uh, majority or you can say everybody uh, to whom i talk they are all youngsters um, majority of them they are the students so i love to chat with them and uh, that way i get good ideas because they are more energetic they have novel ideas and it's the good thing about the youth which I have found these days is that they are so focused. Like in your case, if I take your example, that this is a very good thing that you're working on your communication, but you are at the same time focusing on the uses of, of a specific word also. Two things simultaneously. So I, I like this approach, this spirit, yeah. your way of working on your communication. This is a good thing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, as you said that you have been like have been doing these sessions for a long time now and you like you normally tend to meet youngsters. So I would say that you <laughs> I really appreciate your spirit and your enthusiasm that you are like so energetic and so enthusiastic about improving and about learning some new things. So I really appreciate your Oh, uh, yeah. So that's spirit. a good thing that you, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spirit. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good thing. This dialect comes to me from everybody every time. <laughs> <laughs> I become yeah. used to listen to it. <laughs> so it's a good thing. I think that everyone should have this kind of spirit because yeah, you everybody. understand yes. one thing very well. Age is just a number which you can't control. Yeah, it it's is. not in your control, right? Nobody can. But the learning is in your hands. Yeah. Not learning for any reason. That is something bad. That is the negative aspect. Taking life not in a positive manner, I believe. And that way I am always positive. Whenever I get the opportunity to learn anything, like uh, not out of a blue, uh, this thing was there in my mind that I'm not good at communication, communicating in English. Otherwise, I communicate very well so far as a, and everybody can so far as a regional or a local languages are concerned. So recently, you can say I haven't taken so many sessions. Rather, I saw you people on YouTube and I learned it from you people that this is a way out that one learner talks to another learner. Of course, my journey on YouTube started just five or six months back, I tell you. Uh, and per chance, I landed on some YouTube video where this kind of chit chat show uh, that talk was going on. And after listening to that whole conversation, then I got to know that there are some professional kind of platforms which provide these kinds of services. So initially, I got my uh, after taking so much of the time because I was hesitant and um, I was not feeling confident, not confident about it, that how to take the initiative because uh, even at the home front or at the workplace, we used to, most of the time we used to converse in our local languages. Yeah, you may say why yeah. uh, as a student, uh, of course, we did this subject but that was at that time also confined to the classrooms only. So yes, yes, for the last six months, I'm on this journey. I took some of the sessions from from, uh, from the professionals. 
but i couldn't uh, keep pace with that because of uh, my time constraint also another when frankly speaking when you want to go for paid sessions sometimes you start keeping at the back end okay i will do it uh, i will see to it so from there my journey of youtube started that was my first video i uploaded when, because when i saw somebody else who gave me the encouragement then i decided that i should also become a source of encouragement for somebody else and frankly yeah. speaking when i posted my first video i didn't know how to shoot it how this is done and what is this and what editing is i knew nothing i started from a very raw stage and these days also i am again not posting uh, there is some issue with my channel i guess uh, i don't know how much uh, whether have you ever seen my video any of the videos on youtube or not yes i have seen yes i have seen okay so for the last about one week i am i have not been posting any video because i discussed with so many people that uh, why i am not getting good views just a common conversation okay. because yeah. i put in all the efforts and you mm-hmm. youngsters are uh, really digital natives you know all the techniques and uh, very very well then somebody told me after uh, scrolling down my channel that you opened your channel in 2013 i said no i didn't open somehow whenever i created my gmail account it might have has happened not coming in my without my any uh, conscious effort now the situation they guided me now you have started posting your videos on a channel which might have been at the frozen state i don't know what exactly it is i don't know i share it with everybody few people have the ideas so i have made some changes as per the advice i have taken from some of the youtube channels only so let's see if it works so after one or day one or two days i will start posting my videos again so this is the problem i am battling with because why i narrated you this thing because these are the things we learn so i am not learning english language i am learning these things from you the youngsters also i talk to the young boy the yeah it's a long yes, process of learning <laughs> you were saying something yeah so it's a lifelong learning and <laughs> when it comes to english you don't only learn english you learn a lot of things yeah that, that actually this is what i meant to say that when we talk to each other we not only we are working on our communication like in my case i really enjoy uh, knowing what the person on the other side is and how the person on the, on the other side uh, he has his perspective towards life and what kind of goals they set in what way and in what direction they take their life and that gives me inspiration to take my yeah. next step yes exactly so like uh... it happens with everyone that whenever we are not aware of all these technical skills or technical terms so we happen to like we happen to or we are more likely to struggle in this in this uh, fields like uh, in your case that you are struggling uh, to grow your youtube channel so as as far as youtube is concerned it is a no to like i would say not a month or it's not possible to grow your youtube in a month or two it takes time to grow like i've seen many youtubers uploading uh, uploading a lot of videos continuously even though they are not growing their channel so there might be many scenario and many aspects of it so just uh, try to grab the uh, or try to grasp and learn some basics of youtube then you will get to know uh, you will get to know a lot about youtube strategies and what it is called seo i think so yeah you, you will get to know something. you know something about seo some because initially i didn't know what this seo is some somebody told me that something is wrong with your seo uh, i actually i don't know if you have any tips to give it to me no actually i am not really <laughs> sure uh-huh. what it is i have heard about it so okay yeah, hardly hardly matters 
Yeah, so, you need just to go and watch some videos regarding it. You will get something from there. Don't worry. And don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up for it. You will grow eventually. Don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, most welcome. So, because, like, uh, when did you start your? When did you start learning English? Exactly. I told you just a couple of months back. That was my first video when I got myself enrolled for that on uh, online one on one platform. Uh, it's been okay. I think uh, in November last year so november december six months you may say okay so yeah, yeah i i can see marks <laughs> i can see mark improvement in your speaking skills you are speaking quite well so yeah congratulations for your achievement so far thank you yeah and what is your ultimate goal what do you want to achieve in english do you I... have any sort of things that i want to become the advanced speaker or anything like that or you just want to communicate with people what I, is your ultimate goal Deb, i want to become a good communicator i believe i believe again maybe contradicted to your approach yeah. i yeah. may not be using or may not become capable enough to use fancy words but i feel your conversation your like the intonation and they form a complete package it should be very impressive and if i become capable enough to convey my message and if i could create a sort of grip over the people on the other side i think that would be a sort of accomplishment for me so so i would say you are very near to that you are very very soon you are going to get there so don't worry about that and you as far as i can see your english is pretty well you are speaking quite well and your intonation is good too so you are almost there just and in now, there now you are talking to me exactly like a teacher Right. <laughs> sometimes I, sometimes I forget but, but <laughs> that I'm not a teacher. Because everybody loves if somebody is, you know, encouraged or you. Everybody wants to listen something good about your efforts. So this is yes, the thing that keeps you motivated, ultimately. Yeah, and uh, yes, uh, absolutely. And sometimes we. Like we don't find people who can appreciate us. So we are sometimes, I've seen many people studying and uh, they've been working really hard and they're putting a lot of effort, efforts, still they don't uh, get any appreciation. So mm -hmm. we human, it is our human psyche that we are like, uh, we are hungry for appreciation. So whenever yes. we get- an And we shouldn't uh, rather, uh, we should do it with open heart, I believe. Whenever you get the opportunity to give an encouragement to somebody, try to be an encouragement for anybody if you can do, if you can in your life. Because these words, they give motivation, they give an encouragement. And it's for sure the other person, if you motivate somebody, if you give an encouragement, if you appreciate somebody, this thing matters a lot in the life or in the journey of the person on the other side. Of course, it matters a lot because as I said earlier, it is really important for all of us to, to grow and to move ahead in our life. So like, uh, yeah, you are a doctor. So would you like to tell us about yourself? About myself, you want to know about me? Yeah. Okay. It would be a pleasure. And and uh, uh, you will have to tell me what is your goal in future. Uh, I, I don't yeah, want sure. to. Go. Yes. Yeah, sure. Uh, Zeb, uh, you may say not currently in teaching, but I have been in teaching for so many years. Frankly, I tell you. And uh, I am at the moment. I am a working professional, and I am on the administrative post at this very stage. And. Mm. Uh, yeah, I am a family person also. I look after my family. I have my two grown-up children. 
and I have two beautiful pets. I love to upload the videos of my pets also on my channel. And my pets are kind of set, you can say any very, very important part of my life. Like if yeah. my my channel is if suppose uh, dedicated to learning English and for me a uh, ray of refreshment, freshness and happiness that is uh, these are my pets at the moment. So I upload the short videos of my pets and the proper videos related to my communication skill. Okay. I love gardening and uh, listening music. I drive a lot. So depending upon my mood when I'm driving, I love to listen every kind of music. It may be the guzzles, it may be old Bollywood uh songs movie songs or okay. i I'm, I'm a punjabi person i love to listen punjabi pop also depending upon the mood and i love yeah. to learn from the youngsters <laughs> yeah so that's really good to know about you so like what is your reason for in what is your reason for learning English? As you said that you want to improve your communication skills. So what is the need for that? Why do you think that you are not a good communicator? Because, because, because I believe in growing. I am, you may say I'm not a satis satisfactory kind of person. We all have got just one life. And why should I die with the feeling that I couldn't speak well? <laughs> I really like <laughs> what do you like to see the same line I like to listen. I like to hear it again so this is the reason I have not to prove anywhere anything and so far as my uh, professional front is concerned frankly speaking I don't need to work on my communication skill in English because it's a totally Punjabi kind of environment and that way I'm doing good yeah. everything is perfectly fine Whatever I'm doing at the moment, it is rather not going, it is not aligning with the kind of job I do. In fact, because yeah. here in Punjab, in most of the official work, they have now started laying emphasis on doing all paperwork in the regional language, in the local language. They have made it mandatory, frankly speaking. But... Besides being a working professional, I have something of my own. I have my own identity. Some like it, Kavaljit is living inside me. I have to feed that Kavaljit also, right? If yeah. I have to take care of people around me, I have to feed myself. So by doing these kinds of things, like when I'm learning English, I, this is this makes my my personality, it gives my personality totally altogether different shape. So I'm at the same time living multiple, you can say, having multiple personalities at the same time. Whenever I'm yeah. at a work front, I'm in my office, I'm altogether different kind of boss and where most of the paperwork is done in Punjabi only. Though they anyway. are familiar with... Yeah. yeah. Go on. So this... Uh, uh, I am work, looking after all the, I'm enjoying all the shades of my personality. You yeah, <laughs> that's still great. So anyway, where are you from? I am from, I told you I'm a Punjabi person. I'm from Punjab. And if you, you are to ask me about my city, it is Jalandhar. Jalandhar, Punjab. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. yeah, it was lovely talking to you. Is there anything that you would like to discuss? You just, just let me, because I have noticed it's already being uh, 27, 8 minutes uh, while this recording is in the process. Just let me know, Jam, where you want to see yourself in life. Because in your case, oh. it is just or hardly it is the beginning of your actual life, I believe. You have yeah, to give shape so, to and you might have some envision in your mind. What's that? Yeah, so can I answer this question off camera? <laughs> yeah, yes, definitely. Before that, I'm going to end. Okay. Okay, Zayab, 
thank you very much for, for being on uh, this platform i should not say on my channel on this platform as i already told you i always try to learn something whenever i have these kinds of sessions and you have also planted some beautiful idea inside my mind and that is regarding being selective in the uses of the vocabulary whenever uh, we uh, i uh, we are to talk to somebody yeah. in english so i will definitely try to work on uh, this aspect and i will try to learn fancy words and not fancy words i think you meant appropriate word the proper word yeah, at the proper time exactly so, so it was lovely talking to you this wonderful idea yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it so, was lovely talking to you and thank you so much for having me thank you zab and god bless you may you thank succeed you in too. your all future endeavors yeah thank you so much